Hello everyone and welcome, welcome. Welcome to our class. My, if I, let me introduce myself. My name is Alex Cooper. I teach the computer classes for the Columbia County Library in Evans, uh, Georgia. So hello, Georgia. <laughs> hello, uh, uh, America and hello the world. How about that uh, on YouTube? Uh, so I also teach at the Harlem Library, the Uchi Creek, and of course, Grovetown Library that now has a new uh, library building. Yay, Grovetown, Georgia. So let's go ahead and let's talk about our class a little bit. We're doing all our virtual classes, of course. Uh, please share with friends or family members that we are doing our classes, but they are virtual and stuff. So we're at home staying safe, and this is our creating videos and editing basics class. This class kind of came about because I'll talk about some of the other photography classes and a little bit dealing with photos. And one of those classes it started talking about, we would use a lot of time talking about editing and, and the videos and stuff. And then it was became so much that it needed its own class. So that's what this is, okay? So we'll talk about 3D models and stuff, adding title cards, doing slideshows, which is a big one people would ask me about. And I'd go, you know, you can create your own slideshow video and they would go, really? And I'd go, yes. So we have at least two projects we're gonna work on uh, this afternoon, and very glad that you're here today. Definitely feel free to post uh, a, a hello into our chat. And welcome to class. Very glad you're here now. Um, feel free to post any questions in the chat as well. Um, because there is a little bit of the delay, it may take me a minute or two to answer your questions or anything like that, or just post the hello. Uh, the big question I usually ask is, how can I help? Okay, So you may have questions about something we're working on. Definitely feel free to ask at any time. One of the things I kind of recommend is if you are going to try to follow along with one of our classes hands-on, maybe have me and a separate device so you can see and everything. And then actually have uh, like our, if we're doing Word or of course we're doing our, we're going to be using the uh, Windows 10 Photos app that has a video editor built in. Uh, so definitely want to pull that up on your laptop or something so that you can kind of follow along with me. Okay. Now as everybody kind of comes into the classroom and everything, I'll talk about some of our other classes that we've done. This week, Tuesday, we did, uh, this week, Tuesday, if I can talk, uh, we did our photography, printing, and virtual scrapbooking, uh, which was yesterday. We learned about um, doing photos, option, GIFs. We learned about fracture. We learned about free ways of getting photos. Uh, we just pay for the shipping. <laughs> but we talked about that very cheap. And we also did our virtual scrapbook and stuff and talked about making a collage as well. That video is still up and available. So this morning we actually did a new version of our cutting the cable, which is important because the Peacock service from Comcast has just uh, come out pretty recently. We talked about that. We also talked about ways that you can, I still have it in front of me, get a free um, from Comcast. Uh, they call it the Flex Box. But if you contact them, you can get one for free. If you want more than one, then they, they charge a fee for it, but you can get your first one free and you can actually use their Peacock service. As long as you're using the Comcast internet, you'd actually don't have to have their Comcast TV. So got more information on that. That video is still up and available. And of course we're doing our creating basics. So let's talk about what other classes we have coming up. And believe it or not today, today is the last day of the month. It is the last day of the month, but it is a Wednesday, and we do classes on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So of course, we're gonna have a class tomorrow, which is October 1st. We're gonna be doing a Raspberry Pi project class at 11 a.m. Come join me for that. We're gonna make a, I think the project, we're gonna make at least two projects. One of them is making a LED Breathe, um, which is kind of fun. And uh, we're also going to do a new project. We're going to deal with basically making a doorbell, okay, out of some components with our Raspberry Pi. Now, the other thing in the afternoon is on October 1st, we're actually switching over, our a library switching over from the RB Digital Service with audiobooks and ebooks. 
your magazines and the comic books will still be on RB Digital. You can access some of the other services with RB Digital too, but we're all switching over to what's known as Libby for the audiobooks and ebooks. So we're doing a class tomorrow afternoon at 2.30, library resources and apps, and it's going to include talking about uh, switching over to Libby for audiobooks and ebooks as well. Okay. Uh, tomorrow we'll post a new schedule for um, the rest of October. And we'll, I might have some October, some spooky themed classes, which would be kind of fun uh, for the kids and kind of all ages too. Our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Uh, curbside holds pickup is available. Um, you can go to gchrl.org for details or call the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for updates. Right now we're having a subscription drive, so please help us out and subscribe to our channel. If we can get 100 subscribers, we can actually get our own personalized YouTube address. Um, or you can search YouTube for GCHRL videos and it'll pull right up. Okay, so let's go back. Oh, don't want to go back too far. And let's talk about what we're going to cover today. So basically, uh, one of the things is we're going to be using uh, the program that actually comes with uh, Windows. And we'll be talking about our video editor. Okay, It's actually a very generic name. It's called the Windows uh, 10 Photos app. Okay. If you look at your start button, click start, and then scroll down, scroll down, it's all in alphabetical order. And you go to the letter P, you should see where it says photos, and that actually is the photos part of it. You can get there from, you can get the video editor from photos, or you could actually st still scroll down and go to where it says video editor, and the video editor will pop up. I'm going to go ahead and do the photos. And we're actually going to be doing two big projects. Well, I don't say big projects, but I'll say they're projects. So one of the things we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a, a little short video that we have some an album here I created. And it's gonna be about going to the beach this time, okay? Now, let me show you what else it's already made. So basically, if you're using the photos, you make some albums, Let's talk about doing just a slideshow to begin with, and then we'll actually deal with some videos that I have of some birds. We're going to kind of edit that together, okay? So this is just kind of a slideshow. I created an album. I added some video, um, some um, added some photos in there, and it actually already when you create an album, it already makes a um, a video. So let's click the video and watch it real quick, and I'll disappear. Okay, so it already, already uh, excuse me, it automatically adds a title. Okay, it kind of lets us zoom in a little bit on it, but we also get this really neat button up here that's called Remix. Re so there's lots of theme pl uh, th templates on here already, and we're kind of kind of look at those in a little bit. But if I actually click Remix, give it a minute, and then. <laughs> It's a much shorter, uh, but yeah. So you click, re you can keep clicking remix. It'll go back through the different templates, 
and kind of change it and mix it up. Okay, now if you like that, you could do finish video or let's do edit and copy. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to close that and I'm just going to go and click edit. Okay, now this is similar to what it's be kind of like if you went straight to the video editor. Oh, by the way, if you don't have some of these, um, I guess you'd say extras, or if you don't have, or if your your video editor photos uh, 10 app doesn't look exactly like this, it may be because you haven't uploaded, um, excuse me, updated to the latest version of Windows 10. So you may want to go, all you do is you go down here, you click the search bar, say update, click check for updates, and then just let Windows 10 check for updates, download any of the updates, because this is one of the Microsoft products, and it will be updating the software um, respectively, okay? So they've actually gone through a few changes in here about using the different um, devices, um, excuse me, diff different software, okay? So I could start off with this. I think I'm actually going to delete what we have so that I can put this in any order I want. I just got to check, do a little check box. There's a trash can right here. So our first thing we're going to be doing is we're just going to be doing a slideshow, okay? So some of the options will actually not be available. Now, in the past, we've actually done um, like a golf slideshow, which actually has a little bit more, but we're going to kind of play around with this um, and we may add a few other little extra things, maybe do a little bit more 3D stuff. Uh, we'll see. So we're just going to kind of go through all our little bit of, um, our little bit of settings and everything. So right now it's called Beach. If I wanted to rename it, I could rename it something like that, something there. And if you do want to add anything, which we're in our second project, we will be adding um, other stuff to it. You click Add. It'll say from your computer, or you can actually get some pictures um, from the, uh, the internet as well. Now, anytime there is an undo button up here, okay, you could click that to undo something I did. And if you want to redo it, you can click the redo button, okay? So right now we actually have our storyboard down here. If you've ever dealt with any kind of video editing software, um, you'll actually see that as long as you can do certain things, organize your storyboards, do some titling, also trim or cut, you can pretty much do most things. Um, I would say that most people are interested in the ways of making a video or a slideshow, okay? So let's go ahead and let's bring our pictures in. So first, we actually wanna kinda of set up what we're seeing. So if I click here, have that and then have that and if we could actually make some kind of motion where it's going from left to right and then right to left those may look a little bit more connected okay now we actually have somebody watching like the sunset and then we actually kind of zoom in a little bit more when the person's watching and I think this one is further away and this one's a little bit closer picture, okay? So a lot of the time, just try to think about what kind of story that you're gonna tell, okay? Try to have a beginning, middle, and end, okay? And does that one seem, hmm, does that seem lower or does that seem lower? I actually think this seems a little bit lower. So if we go here and then go there, yeah, yeah. So it would go like this, 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 and then there we are. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's start talking about. Of course, you can reorganize these pictures at any time just by dragging them around. Right now, we don't have any music to it. We can actually add any song that we want. It'll accept um, WAV files and any MP3 file as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and we're just going to talk about our buttons now. Of course, here's our slideshow right now. If we look here where it says three, that means three seconds in between each picture. 
Let's see what that's like. It's only going to be 18 seconds. Let's watch. Okay, I'm actually going to remove the music right now because every time we hit the button, it'll actually play the song and we don't want to listen to that right now. But if I click the button here, we can actually see that our pictures already have a little bit of emotion, which we're going to talk about that. Three seconds may be too much. Three seconds may be too little. If you're doing some kind of action scene, you may actually want to cut it down a little bit more or to make it look like it's trans um, going from one to the next slide or so. But let's go ahead and let's add a title card. It'll say title. And then I go here and I go to where it says text. Right now it's at three seconds. So what we want to say. So I actually like calling it um, going to the beach. How about going to the beach? Whoop. There we go. Going to the beach. So let's preview that. Right now it's only at three seconds. Now let's go ahead and let's look at some of our other options here. I will tell you this, there's one thing that it does that it seems a little bit aggravating. When I actually choose the next one, it actually will jump here to the middle for some reason. I don't know if that's a little bit of a glitch, but I usually have to drag it back over here to start over. Or that's just the way it wants to do a little preview, I guess. <laughs> now, of course, this is full screen in the middle. There's adventure. There's, uh, see, there's quite a lot here. Here's boom. Boom. Very large font. Cinema. So it's like kind of a little movie someone's making. A big thing with this is I remember when they, we had Windows um, XP. And Windows XP actually came with a free, very basic video editor. It did have some limita limitations on exporting the video. So there were some people that really didn't like it, but YouTube did actually support it. So a lot of video, older videos you'll see, um, even still on YouTube, <laughs> depends on what it, the topic is, I guess. You may click there and it may have like a blue background and that's kind of sometimes a, a really big indicator that it was a Windows XP video editor, okay? so. Very glad that Windows is basically, Microsoft is bringing back the, the free video editor that came with Windows. Um, so it maybe it'll improve, uh, improve enough that, you know, someone could actually, you know, just use it for whatever they wanted to. I did teach um, a YouTube class and there was, a, I don't know, the younger person that was there made a bunch of videos but was really trying to look into getting a free video editor because apparently they had been using one they didn't like. And I actually showed him this. I said, well, you can add title cards and edit and all this stuff. He's like, and I, he said, well, how, what do you export it as? And I told him, he said, well, why don't I use this? It's free. I said, yeah. I said, try this before you spend a lot of money on trying to get a more expensive video editor. This may do mostly what you want it to do. So we do have a little bit of a limitation on basically these are templates that are already made and we can't really customize them too much it's mostly just that luckily that there is enough of these that it'll pretty much do what you want it to do or at least it'll be close I can't change the font size or anything here's a silly one This one's kind of like, looks like it's a 1980s or something. 
I actually like that, electronic. Fine print, I guess that is something for it to be very, very small. I'm going to choose electric. Okay. Now you can choose where you want it to show up. Mostly this is for when we do a layover text of an actual picture or a video. Okay. So they all have their own setting. bottom there's the right but there's our main thing right there so let's go ahead and let's click done oh you can change the background color I will tell you this if you are trying to um, it looks fine if you are trying to to basically use this as your editor maybe to try to save money or something like that just realize that uh, it does actually have a print editor or if you went if you watch my uh, uh, Photoshop using GIMP uh, photo editor remember you can do just about anything so if you can pretty much drag make any kind of graphic or picture you want in like GIMP or even the paint program that comes with Windows 10 and then drag it here uh, you know you don't have to actually just rely on these title cards or whatever you could actually make your own with any kind of you know photo editing program okay Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about we could actually add some text to this slide if we wanted to, choose where we want it to be, and to try to keep the same theme, let's see, uh, I actually don't know the name of the beach, so we'll just say beach. And I've got it at the bottom, and it'll look like this. All right, so we've actually learned how to do our title card. You can put a title card anywhere, okay? I'm actually gonna put one here and we'll just call it sunset. How about that, whoop. We'll go into our editor and see. Be kind of a sub. All right, going to the beach, we'll have our beach picture, we'll have our sunset, and then we're actually viewing our sunset. Okay, let's look and see what it looks like right now. Going to the beach, there's the beach. sunset and then we're looking at our sunset if we do it right it's actually going to look like we zoom in on our um, sunset there at the end all right I think our duration is pretty good I think three seconds is all right with some of the videos this one I think I might change to let's say five just because I know it says beach and then it comes down. All right, now let's talk about, let's talk about our movement, okay? Now to change it, all I did was I clicked it and I said duration right there. So let's click beach and then click movement, or motion, excuse me, motion. Right now it's set to zoom out, okay? Zoom out center. Well, what I wanted to do is kind of make it look like it's having a motion to the right because our second, our second picture is going to be to the right of this picture. So let's get it moving, panning to the right. Let's see what that looks like. The beach. Let's see. Zooming to the right. That's what we want. All right. So... Hmm. Doesn't really do what I had in mind. Pan to the right, just kind of moves it a little bit. I guess that's what we want. 
Okay, and then we'll do done. And then we choose this one here and we'll say motion and we'll get it to pan to the left. So, no, nope, we want it to pan to the right as well, excuse me. All right, so when we look at that, so beach, there we go. We have a little sense of movement to the right and then moving over to the right slide there. Okay, now let's go ahead. If I choose that, what would that? Oh, that's for, okay, never mind. That's because that's a title. That's why the, the thing was there. All right, so if I click, let's see, what do we want to do next? Okay, so let's look at our motion for our sunset and everything. So right now, let's do motion. See what it looks like. Eh. Okay, I kind of like that actually. Because we want to draw our eye up. We have a beautiful reflection right here. See what we have now. Okay, I still kind of like that. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see what zoom in right looks like. There we go. Doesn't that look better? All right, now, let's do our motion here. If we have it zoom in left, we zoom in left, it should feel like it's bringing our sunset closer. And then with our last picture, we'll do the same thing. We'll have it zoom in left. And then it's kind of bringing the birds into us, isn't it? And let's go ahead and let's add title card at the end and we'll say great day. How about that? And we're going to use electric. So great day at the beach. All right, so let's look and see what we have. Well, no, we can start over. Hold on. Here we go. Going to the beach, 2018. The beach. Sunset. There's our sunset, looking up. Zooming in. Zooming into our actual and then there we go. Did you feel the motion because it did we were zooming in on both of those great day at the beach? Okay Now did that seem a little short. I think I might add a Little bit of second. I think I'll make it four Because those sunsets felt like it was really fast All right, let's try it again. I'm gonna do full screen this time by clicking that button. Going to the beach. The beach. And zooming in. And there's our sunset. There we go. Does that feel a little better? Not as fast. Great day at the beach. All right, now let's go ahead. And here's our, so basically there's our slideshow. Right now it's only 32 seconds long, okay? I think that looks pretty good. Hopefully you guys do too. Let's talk about our audio. Okay, uh, there's also a, if you want to, 
let's say the beach, I think those, I don't like the black bars, you can actually go here and it will kind of zoom in to a remove the black bars. Okay, but that may be too much. Depends on what you're going to show it on. It does kind of give, if you're going to have like a panning uh, going on, it does actually give the ability to feel like you are full screen zoomed in as well. Okay, and it gives a little bit of leeway there on the right side. I think we'll go ahead and do that to all our pictures. It's interesting, our last one was already like that. So all we do is you click there, click here, and say move, click here. Whoop, did not mean to do that, that's the rotation. Okay, now let's start over. Now, if you don't like that, of course you don't have to do that. Go into the beach, but now on a normal computer screen, our pictures are all full zoomed in, okay? And if we're having any kind of motion, there's some hidden, a little bit of the hidden of the frame. So look, it definitely looks like there's an actual motion going on to something we haven't seen. Great day at the beach. Okay, what you think? Do you like that? Okay, so that's basically making a slideshow. Let's talk about our background music. So, and I'm actually gonna turn it down a little bit because I don't want it to be an echo too much. So let's get a little, listen to it a little bit here. These are all free songs that come with the app, okay? Okay, so there's Amplified. appropriate we might do that one let's keep going though this is one of my favorites Let's see, happy beat. That could be, it could work. kind of relaxing looking at the beach. That's 
too easy listening. Mm, I don't know. serious for us. Now, if you notice, did you notice that our time kind of changed just a little bit? And why is that? Because when we click the background, we actually had it said synchronize your video to, to the music beat. Let's see what that looks like, okay? So it has moved around our time a little bit, okay? Did you like that? Maybe, maybe not. If you don't like that, then you could go back to the settings here. Or, of course, I could hit undo. There you go. And it'll go back to the way it was. And then choose background. Choose a song. Do not have that checked. And hit done. And it'll leave the same uh, settings there. Okay, so it's kind of just your preference, and you see they kind of have a, a, a where it kind of faded out there. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's look at the custom audio section. So the custom audio, you can just add whatever songs you want. Okay, so basically, the what formats can you do? And it has them all listed right here. Biggest ones, of course, is WAV files. Okay, and then MP3 files. Okay. MP, uh, M4A files as well, okay? So most common files, uh, file format it could actually handle making, adding the songs to it, okay? Now let's go ahead and I'm actually gonna show you some of the other preview videos to get you some ideas about the different templates. Oh good, I'm glad you like that. That's great. Me too. Okay, so 
let's go ahead and let's look at our section here. And one of the things we can do is we could actually, uh, of course, save our project. Backup is one of those things that let's say, you say, well, this is kind of like my rough draft. I could click backup. Good thing is if we exit, it automatically saves it for us. Um, let's go ahead and let's look at themes. This also shows us where you could change the aspect ratio if you wanted to. Let's look at themes. And basically, this is, ba this is a bunch of choices, themes that are already pre-made. And you'll kind of see it connects up with um, some of the templates we saw earlier for the title cards. Okay, so I'm just kind of show you these to give you some ideas. That would be kind of a neat one. They're kind of showing that as a science fair project. So maybe even ask a teacher or somebody. You could say, well, we need you to write an essay about such and such. And they go, well, I'm planning on going to the zoo. Why don't I just make a video about it? And the teacher might go, okay, well, I'll look at it. And there might be something we can show in class too about your trip. That could be a big game changer right there. actually try to kind of change your project or get your project started by adding the music and everything okay now with our slideshow that's mostly it okay now the only other thing that we can kind of add is if we um, okay so it's not actually showing yeah okay so if I click on a picture it'll do that so we can see where it says filters okay We'll talk about filters, then we'll talk about 3D effects. So if you click filters, you'll see it's kind of like, you know, the social media filters and stuff. Original, classic, you want something to look a little bit brighter. And some of this may just be, you know, to your, to your eye. That looks like fun, but that looks like a very harsh light to me. Makes it a little bit more harsh. Ugh. Fancy. Trying to make it look like an arcade game. So if I go back to original versus classic, still kind of like the classic, it kind of takes care of the situation there. So I'm gonna hit done. And that's how you do filters. You just click it and click filters. What about 3D stuff? Let's talk about our 3D stuff. Now, I will tell you, sometimes this may seem like it takes a little bit of time to load because it actually refreshes the library. 
every time you uh, click that, okay? So when we do our video editing part, we'll talk about this because you can add a whole bunch of different effects. But right now, let's just talk about our, um, yeah, let's just talk about some of our still picture things, okay? Because this is still, we're still trying to focus on it being a slideshow. Give me a minute, it may take a second or two to load. Or maybe I need to uh, click it, let's see. So we have different little characters. I'm trying to see if we had like a um, beach, somebody doing something at the beach real quick. All right, characters, animals, insects, a dinosaur. I don't think I really want to put a shark. This isn't that kind of video. We're just talking about going to the beach, doing something nice. Oh, there's a dolphin. Okay. Maybe we should add a dolphin in there. So here's our dolphin. It is basically just a still uh, kind of frame is what we have going on. So our dolphin doesn't really move. Now, if we wanted to, we could make it animated is what they choose it to be. That's the turntable. Swing. We jump and turn. Pretty funny. So you hover. Look around. don't think we can actually work it out so that he is kind of incognito in the water but maybe we can do something let's see maybe if I move him here and make him really small It's going to be like a hidden, like a Where's Waldo kind of thing. I think I'll shorten the, the thing a little bit here. So he's not there all the time. That could be pretty funny. Okay, so I'm gonna hit done. And now we have a little video in there and we also have a little graphic. So before we move on to our next part, let's go ahead and check out our full video here. But sometimes it always seems like there's a situation where you've added something and then for whatever reason it won't work and then you have to re-add it again. So I've actually had that issue before.
Let's see. And why that is, I don't know. It's not perfect. It's like it's not in the right layer or something. Let me re-add it again. Is that what it is? Okay, let's select it. Yeah. Give it a little bit of animation. Do the hop thing. <laughs> so we'll have him show up, do one little hop. will be like, what? Okay, so let's watch it. saw a dolphin didn't we okay so let's go ahead and let's deal with our next part which is our video editor so did you like that now let's talk about finishing our video so finish our video is high quality 1080p you could change that if you want to I will tell you this if you are having any kind of issue where it's some kind of glitches or color glitches in there especially after editing video just make sure you uncheck this and it may take a little longer to make your video, but it'll actually be um, all ready and everything, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna save it right now, but I'm gonna go back and click Video Projects, but it gives you a little bit of an idea, okay? So let's go ahead and let's make a new project. This time, not only we're gonna do And day is 30th, isn't it? So we're not actually we're actually going to be adding um, video as well. So let's go ahead and see. I want to add this. Let's see this one. I'll do my little check boxes. Let me see a snake. birds no I don't want to show that let's see and of course you can mix in so I'm just going to edit videos that I've made And let's see. All right. All 
All right, so I think there's a few still. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, some of these birds for my actual title card. Okay. So here's our pretty pictures. Pretty pictures, pretty pictures. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to do title. And let's call it birding two o two o. Yeah, I'm going to do a different. See what that looks like. All right, so boom, it is. So here we are. All right, so let's see, we've got birds at the beach. So let's do a new title card. Oh, hang on. Check our birds at the beach. No, that's at home, sorry. Click that, say remove. Birds at the beach. All right, let's look and see what we have. That's it, play, I guess. That's the, that's what I was telling you, those are the females. Alright. So that's what we have right now, okay? So we need to cut this back a little bit, don't we? So once we click on a video, now if we're clicking on a picture, we won't see these options here, but you click on a video, you'll actually see where it says trim and split, okay? With these two settings, and we also have a speed one on here too, and yeah, we also have a speed one on here, we can actually control a lot of things with the trim and of course the split picture. Let me make that zoom in a little bit. I think that might look cool. There we go. And our video should be full screen. We'll make this one to zoom in a little bit too. Okay, so we need to cut this one down, don't we? Now, we could use the trim, which I think I'll use first, and then we'll talk about We'll, we'll, we'll use the trim for now, and then I'll show you how we can do uh, the split. And I think I'm going to slow down this video here with our birds that are there. So let's do our trim. And it makes it pretty easy. You basically just grab these bars. And what you want to keep, you just keep in the middle. Okay? So...
shorter. Crackle, by the way. Alright, so you're done. And then when we go back to our video, it has been edited. Okay? It's just as easy as that. Now, like I said, with knowing that you can have a Photoshop, you know, using GIMP or something like that to import any pictures you want, okay? And with the, the trim and the splitter on here, which we'll talk about in a minute, we can actually do a lot. So let's look at our video here with our seagulls. And I'm actually going to slow down some of this because our seagulls are really cool flying around. That's, the, that's what I was telling you, those are the females. So there's a little bit where they just kind of stop flying near the camera. There's one last flying right there. There you go. I'm just going to make that eight seconds, I think. Yeah. So let's see what that looks like. What they flew near the camera. I don't know. Is it right there they do? Okay. All right, so let's do done. Now this time, let's actually go to speed and let's try to slow them down. So right now it's at one normal speed. You could speed it up, but let's slow it down. 1.5 is half and there's a quarter. So let's look and see what that looks like. And I bet it's gonna be a little too much. So let's do trim, but let's check it out anyway. How about that? Oh. It's kind of like that last one there. Right about there, I think. We might trim that a little bit in just a second too with our split. So let's go ahead to this video. Let's trim it back a little bit. So he's there only there for a second, and then he flies off. We're going to kind of cut out the part where we start zooming in on him. And hit done. 
All right, so let's see what we got so far. It's a minute long right now. So I'm actually going to click this and how do we, what do we do? If I actually click this and oh, we click the little speaker, we can turn it off. Okay. Here we go. Okay, now let's talk about our backyard bird. So let's give this a title card. No, hang on, I have the wrong things chosen. Hold on, what are you doing? Oh, still checked. Oh, that's neat. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that did that. Okay, we might leave that. Whoosh. Okay. I may make that a last a little longer because I don't want that to be all right so let's see what that looks like there we go and then you still get to see the little bird there okay so we're doing backyard birds Birds at the beach, backyard birds. See, some of these templates, you may not even really know what they do until you play with them a little bit. Now, let's go ahead and import our backyard pictures. Well, I can just do the checkbox on them. Checkbox. You can just drag them all down here, let go. And we got our scroll bar going on back and forth now. Whoop. So this video I know is very long. And it'll show a little picture, show a video so you kind of know the difference. Let's go and look at the hummingbird one. And we're actually going to leave this one as kind of our end. So the hummingbird one, let's look at that one because I know it needs to sound off and we need to change the speed of it, but let's watch it. 
It's a hummingbird. It's chickadee. That neat. Now, if I actually zoomed in more, what would that look like? Could I control the? No, I can't control the up and down. It's chickadee's got. But if I slow it down, let's say to half. There you go. It's chickadee. We get to see our hummingbird pretty good now, don't we? Now this has me talking, so I'm going to turn that off. And this is just a picture of the backyard. It's a backyard birds. And if I do my zoom in, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? And if I believe I've done the zoom in on this one, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so we're gonna kind of play around with this first. So let's go ahead and let's watch our video. Let's talk about our trim. So it's a backyard video that I captured a thrasher fighting a snake, okay? He don't really fight, he just kind of nips at him. He, I like him strutting, which is really neat. And then the camera gets really shaky. So my goal is I'm actually going to cut out uh, that part. Okay. Alex. See where it goes. Go outside. See where it goes. So let's go back. And instead of trim, I'm going to click split. And wherever I put this, like I said, this gets down to just doing some basic editing here. So the further I want to go at the end there, I just want to see the snake disappear. I want to try to erase the shaky camera as much as I can. So there goes the snake. Camera gets a little shaky, but once he's right there, it's over. Okay, so I'm going to say done. Now we have two videos, and this, of course, is the one of him going behind. So I'm actually going to delete it. Okay. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to do our split again. We're going to start from the beginning. Now my goal is, like I said, I'm going to cut out the shaky part. Now why don't we go ahead and start where we're zoomed in already. Okay, so let's start. Let's start right there. So I'm going to hit OK. Now we got two, so I'm going to erase that. Go back to here, do split. So now we start off with zoomed in already. <laughs> Whoa, so let's see if we can cut that out because nothing really happens except for me shaking the camera around like crazy. So right before it starts, right here, I'm going to split it. Okay. And then go back to here. So shaky, 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 shaky. So let's get to right before, right after the last shake, right, I think there will be good, right, I think there. So it may have a little bit of shake. All right, now let's see what our video looks like. So 
some cut. Didn't even really notice, did you? Because they were about the same position. Alex. Getting a little bit of shake, but it's mostly some, like an action. And then we're seeing our, our hummingbird kind of zoomed in, don't we? All right, then, okay, so let's go back. Let's see what that looks like if we do click the zoom in part. Let's see if that would work. It kind of works, doesn't it? Some of it's a little bit obscure, but it is a lot closer now. So let's go ahead and let's do that to our next part. And let's see if we miss anything from that. Kind of his wings a little bit, but we are looking at the snake closer. Alex. We do get a little bit of motion blur on that one. Maybe I'll keep that one. I think I might actually keep that one um, to the shrink. So it's like we have a close up and then we have um, kind of like a zoom out. Okay. Which some directors would say it would probably be best to have a zoom out and then a close up. <laughs> But I think that'll work for us for now. All right, so we have our hummingbird, okay, which I might slow down a little bit slower. Let's make him down to a quarter because he only does his head, you know, once. Now I thought, is there a way to Okay, so if I do copy clip and then I right click and do paste video, I could actually make it look like, um, wow, did that push it all the way to eight seconds? Okay. So let's see what that looks like. So here goes our snake. It is huge. Alex. That's almost flawless. Well, it sure was almost flawless there. All right, now this is actually a, a bird getting a worm out of the ground. So let's look in on that. Let's go to our, um, I think I'm gonna do my split anyway. No, I wanna do the trim because I do know it's some at the beginning and the end that is what I wanna cut out. Let's see, so it's right, let's see. So let's watch our video first. So he leans down, he grabs the worm, he's eating it. And then he kind of hops off. Okay. So right about when he hops off is what I, where I want to cut. Got the worm. And then our exit is him actually leaving. Okay. So once he gets... Okay, it's not staying up with me for some reason. Once he hops away, it's over. So, come on thing, don't act weird on me. All right, so we can actually see him putting his head down right there, getting it. So let's do it there. And if we do do our zoom in, can we still have our bird in our frame? Okay, so I think so. And then we just have two last pictures of beautiful bird. So let's go ahead and let's look at our whole video without any music right now, which is almost two minutes long. Wow, here we go. Birding 2020.
birds at the beach. Birds in slow mo. Backyard birds. <laughs> that works pretty well. It is huge. We have some limitations like with this software, but remember it is free. There we go. And then we doubled this video here. And you can't even really tell because we only have him, only recorded him putting his head in there once. And there's him getting him warm. Yum, yum, yum. He kind of hops off. And you could even assume that that's the same bird, but it's not. <laughs> but with movie magic, maybe it is. Okay. Okay, so we've got our backyard birds here. Let's do our end title card. And why don't we do it with our text on there, and we'll try to keep our big boom thing. Uh, let's see. How about we'll just do the end? Classic, and I think I'm actually going to slow it so it stays at the end there so we see our bird, and then our title card comes in like that, and then you get the end. Okay, and I might extend this to five seconds, or let's do four seconds just so you see our bird a little bit more. All right, let's move that all the way that way. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and let's talk about what music we're going to add. So let's look at our last, whoop, did I, did I choose the, good. So let's look at our video, our final uh, video, and then we'll play, mess around with our 3D um, stuff a little bit, okay? Here we go.
There you go. What you think? I think I might add just for fun right before the snake add a title card and say get out of here snake I think that's neat so get out of here snake and then go into the other video. So let's see what that looks like. So kind of give it some excitement. And I might even make the duration two seconds to kind of make it sound, sound like a woo happening. Okay, so let's start at Backyard Birds. <laughs> I think that looks really neat. Okay, so I'm actually going to do, click here, I'm going to do a backup, back up my project. Oh, I don't need to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and we're actually going to add, we're going to add, um, let's do the, the bird video here at the end, and we're going to kind of play around with that a little bit, okay? So let's add some 3D effects to it. We had the birds going a little bit slower, so let's do that. And we're going about half. Let's click our 3D. We could add do a filter on it if we wanted to. Let's see. That's kind of neat. It makes the blue really stand out. There's your original classic. Hmm. Is it venture? Okay, we'll do it venture. All right, so let's click our 3D effect. Now, we did our 3D library, which are mostly still frame pictures or, or still frame characters, I should say. Usually there's a little icon on there when they do animate. And I was able to find, there was a dinosaur in here somewhere that was actually animated. Not just making it jump like you like you saw us do that where it was just like it just did a little jump or something. But let's go ahead to the effects and let's do uh, let's do clear so we can see them all. So they do have a search here, but you can kind of go down as well. So these are actual 3D, you know, graphic little effects that you can do. One of them that we did last time was we did some um, fireworks on the background, which actually worked pretty well. So you basically choose it, and it gives a little bit of a, like you can do a preview of it. We'll shoot. You can do a preview, so I click it, and you'll see sometimes the effect, you need to stretch it um, to fit in, you know, fit all the way over. So if I hit play, <laughs> Why did it stop? I don't know. There's still some certain things about this I'm not 100% sure. Because sometimes you'll add stuff and then it disappears. But it's still kind of fun to mess around with. Interesting. 
I should be able to stretch it for the timeline. <laughs> See, that's like you would think, why, you know, wouldn't it do it more than once? But anyway, oh. I don't know. No, it's not what I want. So let's make it, oh, here's bubbles. Here's bubbles happen. Where'd they go? It's like it refreshes sometimes and then it thinks it's playing it and it's really not. See what I mean? Anyway. Still kind of playing around with this stuff anyway. Yeah, so if I do. Yes, it does seem a little glitchy today. So let's go ahead down and let's look at some of our other stuff. This is where we can do stuff that looks kind of like a um, special effect. Like, shh. Okay, I'm gonna hit cancel and go back. I don't know why it's acting that way. All right. There we are. So let me rotate this. So we have special effects. Now one of the things we also have going on is we can actually add an anchor point, which I've had this not work properly but just realize that okay here we go so fade still so i actually want that to be extended and as the camera moves it should stay still found out that things that you know like the little tower or something like that that seems pretty good to keep it something still let's see you can do a campfire candle flame a comet let's do some confetti it's confetti everybody loves confetti birds may not like confetti let's <laughs> see if I can get it I think this bird stays relatively still let's make it look like it's coming out of that the bird's head or something I have to figure out which bird it is is it this one okay hold on you got to give me the anchor point all right so if I do him let's see All right, let's try it.
that was pretty perfect, wasn't it? <laughs> that was pretty perfect. Okay, let's try a different effect. Let's see. So here's like a dust. There's an explosion. So this not only is made to be, you know, just kind of add some silly stuff, but also when they're talking about, here's like bats. Too spooky. Just can't take it. So here's also um, looks kind of like a, a news headline thing. Just put it down over here, and then boom, you're your own news anchor. There you go. Okay, we got a few more we're going to mess with just to kind of have to be fun. Let's see. Here's glowing sparkles, glowing hearts, impact, and then there's spooky jank lanterns. Let's see. What is laser wall? What does that look like? Guess that effect only lasts for just a little bit. Some of these may may not last for it. Yeah, and then it disappeared. See, so it came and it disappeared. So you would think it would tell us that. If you want to do it more, just add it again, I guess. There's like a water, lightning sp um, spray. Let's see. Magical light, ornaments, party laser. Okay, let's try party laser. How about that? Birds are having a disc. Okay, let's stretch it out here. And let's give it an anchor point. Um, I think I'm going to see if that would work. Because that should be... All right, so let's see. stops right about there. So let's add a different one. Let's see. Oh, make it rain. Make it rain or snow. Let's see. Or globe turning. <laughs> String of lights. Okay. Bring the lights. Let's see, can I stretch that? Nope, can't stretch it too far. Whoop. There we go. Okay, so what would that do? <laughs> Didn't last very long, did it? Okay. Okay. And let's 
see if we can make it snow because that's fun. Okay, our last special effect. Let's see, snow. Make it snow through the whole thing right there. great do y'all like that okay so now I will tell you this I have had an issue where I click here and it takes back here and then it's like whatever I added was gone so let's play it and <laughs> So we kind of had our fun, haven't we? Did we learn a lot? I think so. I think we did learn a lot. I know I learned some new stuff too. Again, all you do is you click your finish your video and you click export and it'll ask you what you want to save it as and it saves it as an MP4, okay? So you could do, let's see. <laughs> Okay, that may take a second. So we may go ahead and go ahead and wrap up class here. Okay. Did we do a lot? <laughs> Was it fun? Did you have a good time? I hope so. That's a lot of fun. It really is. And knowing about the 3D stuff, you can see why we wanted to make that an extra class. Uh, being able to add stuff and it's kind of for any age group and especially it comes with Windows 10 and I feel like not a lot of people know about it too. So let's talk about the classes we have coming up tomorrow. So goodbye September, goodbye September, hello, hello October. So tomorrow is October 1st so come join me at 11 o'clock tomorrow. We're going to be doing some Raspberry Pi projects. Like I said, I think we're going to be doing, uh, making an LED, um, kind of have a heartbeat, <laughs> which is kind of fun. And uh, yes, Mac, very glad you were here. Did you, did you learn something new, I hope? Yes, yes, yes. Great, glad you were here. Look, I'm typing. Oh, the video just started. <laughs> After it uh, compresses it and saves it, it starts to play for one last time. So we'll look at it one last time while it's doing that, I guess.
I'm trying to figure out how to get it out of there it is there we go okay there we go all right so hope you enjoyed that even with our little lasers there at the end and everything so come on by tomorrow 11 o'clock and tomorrow afternoon we're going, october 1st we're going to talk about library resources free stuff from the library including acorn tv um will you be using the new libby audiobook system and ebook system so come join us for that a little side note our libraries are open with limited services and hours Curbside Holds Pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details or call in the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and hit the subscribe button. Remember, we're trying to do a subscribe drive. So if we can get 100 new YouTube subscribers or hundreds of YouTube subscribers, we can actually get our own personalized YouTube address or just search GCHRL uh, videos and you'll be able to pull it right up. Okay, I've come to the end of class. Thank you so much for coming and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, stay safe, and um, it's a nice cool afternoon. Maybe go for a little bit of exercise, walk and stuff, okay? <laughs> see you next time, bye-bye.